So you have a pile of clothes that you're looking to get rid of, but you aren't sure what to do with them. You could donate them, or you could find a way to make them new again. Don't forget to like this video. These are 10 DIY ways you can repurpose your old clothes. Flannel scarf. Do you have some old flannel PJ pants lying around the house? Well, don't throw them out because you can make a super cute and cozy infinity scarf out of them. All you will need is a pair of old flannel PJ pants, scissors, and a sewing machine. First, cut down the inseam of both legs. And when you get to the top, cut the legs of the pants completely off. You will now have two individual pant legs with one inseam still intact. All you do now is sew the legs together at the top and bottom so they make one large infinity circle. There you have it, your very own trendy plaid scarf. Dip dye ornament jeans. If you're sick of your everyday skinny jeans, maybe it's time to spice them up a little bit with some creativity. For this DIY project, you will need bleach, jeans, and a permanent marker. First, you will need to dip your jeans from the bottom a few inches into some watered down bleach and leave them there for a couple of hours. Be careful not to dip more than a few inches of the jeans into the bleach. Once the jeans are done bleaching, rinse them and let the material dry. Once the jeans are dry, research some interesting patterns for some inspiration and draw them on the bleached area of your jeans with a permanent marker. Bow Sleeve Sweater Want to spruce up last year's winter sweater? It's super easy. All you will need is a sweater, ribbon, scissors, and a needle and thread. First, using the sweater's inseam as a guide, cut the top of the sweater's sleeve down to where it hits the midsection of the upper arm. Next, using the needle and thread, sew one fourth inches of the raw edges inside the sleeve to create a clean edge and cut away any wild frays. Next, take a yard of your ribbon, cut it in half, then sew the two new pieces of ribbon to the inside of the sweater just one ribbon per side. Finally, now that the ribbon is fastened to the sweater, tie them together to create a cute bow on your shoulder. If you'd like the ends of the ribbon to be shorter, cut them at an angle and put clear nail polish on the ends. Scarf to shirts. There are actually several ways to reshape a scarf into a shirt. There are so many to choose from, but this one is one of the easiest scarf to shirt tutorials. The good thing about this project is it requires no sewing. All you need is the scarf itself. This is the DIY scarf bustier top. First, fold the scarf in half to make it the length you want as a top. Next, tie the scarf behind your back and make sure it's very secure. Finally, bring the ends of the scarf to the front and tuck them in to form a sweetheart neckline. Dog toy. Humans aren't the only ones that can enjoy repurposed clothes. You can even make a cheap and easy new toy for your furry friend. You will need two old t-shirts and a pair of scissors for this fun DIY dog toy. First, cut two to three inch strips from the bottom up on both of the shirts. Then cut the strips of the shirt. Stretch the t-shirt strips and then gather the strips together and tie them on one end. Next, braid the strips of the t-shirt together and fasten them together at the end. Now you have a great new fetch or tug of war toy for your fur baby. Long sleeve shirt wrap skirt. If you're in a crunch for time, but really want to wear something cute and new, try the eight second skirt. All you need is a long sleeve sweater or shirt. First, put the shirt on as you would a skirt. The top of the shirt should be hugging your waist. Now, take the two hanging sleeves and wrap them in a bow on the side of your hips. There you have it. You'll never look at your long sleeve shirts the same way again. Produce bag. A super cute and easy way to save the planet and repurpose an old shirt is by making a reusable produce bag. For this, you'll need an old shirt, scissors, and a sewing machine. First, fold the shirt in half. The bottom of the shirt will become the top of the bag. So cut the sleeves and the neckline of the shirt off. This will become the bottom of the bag. Next, turn the shirt inside out and sew the bottom of the bag together. Now you should have what looks like a bag. You can now cut in some sturdy bag handles at the top of the bag. Then to add some character to the bag, take a ruler and draw staggered cut lines and then cut little slits into the bag using the marks as a guide. Then flip the back right side out and use it to carry any large produce like oranges or apples or as a cute beach tote. Open back sweater. Another way to spice up an old winter sweater is to show a little skin by making it an open back sweater. You'll need an old sweater, scissors, large safety pins, and needle and thread. With the back of your sweater up, 
Cut a two inch piece of knit out of the center of the sweater from top to bottom. Next, sew in the raw edges with needle and thread. Finally, decide how many safety pins and how far apart you want them, and then use the safety pins to fasten the open back sweater together. Then voila, you have a beautiful and sexy new sweater. Bleach denim shorts. Distressed and bleached jean shorts are all the rage. But before you drop some major cash on buying them new, make them yourself with an old pair of jean shorts. All you need is bleach, water, a clean surface that can get dirty, a bucket, and jean shorts. First, make sure you put tarp or something down, and you're bleaching outside because this could get messy. Take the bottom of the shorts and place them a few inches into the bucket of diluted bleach. Let the shorts soak in the bleach for 10 minutes, then take them out and let them dry for 10 minutes. Then toss them in the washer and dryer. Now you'll have some super cute ombre denim shorts for free. Long skirt to slip dress. An easy way to reuse your once fashionable long skirt is to make it into a cute beach slip dress. You don't have to sew for this one. All you need is your skirt, a tank top as an outline, and scissors. First, cut the wristband off your skirt. Then, using a tank top as a guide, cut the top of the skirt along the arm openings of the tank top. This should leave you with an opening of a dress that you can cut a neck and back line into. Then tie the two ends together at the top to create the sleeves of the dress. Next, wear your new slip dress to the beach or around the house. It's that easy. Which of these DIY projects are you going to try first? React in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.